before we deploy, let's create a pipeline that will automatically retrain our models. Okay, let's call it automatic retraining. Let's add a detailed description and a few tags, maybe one. So the first step is we'll add a sensor and this will run some checks. You can use a template or write some custom code. We're going to add our own custom code and the check normally would check for new data that has arrived, the new data that's being used in the training set. But for this example, since we don't have new data, we'll just check an API endpoint and see if the data from that has changed, even though this API endpoint data has nothing to do with our training data. It's a contrived example, but it works for our demonstration. And we'll run this and the sensor will keep checking and it returns a Boolean. And if the Boolean is true, the downstream blocks can run. If it's false, then the run is finished and the downstream blocks don't execute. See, we run it again, it returns false. We don't retrain the models. Okay, so now we'll add a block that will trigger one of the other pipelines. This one specifically will trigger the training pipeline for the sklearn models. Here we're just importing a function that makes an API call to run, the, run that pipeline. And here we're passing in these values as the variables to the trigger pipeline. Okay, so then next we will add the block to trigger the XGBoost training pipeline. And it will use very similar code, except we just changed the pipeline name to XGBoost. 